Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. All praises to Allah. We send peace and salutations upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Uh, before I proceed with the, with this last interview for today, I would like to say that uh, South, South African Muslims, they are always uh, leaders and pioneers in, in amal al-khair, in doing good, nationally and internationally, really. Uh, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, yani I, I, always thought of, uh, I always thought of all the good a'mal that, that uh, your forefathers, the forefathers of the South African Muslims and the ancestors did in their life. The sacrifices, the madaris, the Islamic schools, uh, the, the masajid, uh, the Islamic charitable organizations. MashaAllah, amazing work. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward. That you, you rarely find any Islamic minority or Muslim minority in any other countries have or have achieved what, what the Muslims of South Africa have achieved. I commend you for that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. Today we're meeting with one of those pioneers in Amal al-Khair, uh, our dear brother uh, Sulaiman Sheikh. He is the, uh, the Sheikh Investment uh, le- uh, President or uh, leader and uh, he established a new initiative. This is called Emergy, uh, Emergivac and this is basically a medical aid, uh, a medical aid that is uh, compliant with Islamic Sharia and the principles of Islam. And I was always thinking who can do that? When, when can this happen and where exactly can I? And now I, I, yesterday I witnessed the, the launch of Emergivac uh, medical aid that is in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and there are so many ulama backing it. And uh, we, we we have here Brother Sulaiman Sheikh with us uh, in the program. Let's welcome him. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan for joining us, and jazakallah khairan for starting this initiative. I ask Allah subhanahu wa taala to reward you abundantly, and I always say with sincerity, Allah subhanahu wa taala will open the doors, and inshallah you will see this project. Flourishing and prosperous, inshallah. Allahumma ameen. ameen. Tell us about the idea and and uh, and the whole. Yani give us some enlightenment about the, the idea of emergency vac and uh, and and what is aim from that. Okay. So uh, alhamdulillah, emergency vac uh, was was born out of an idea many years ago uh, to offer medical evacuation to a hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, during COVID, uh, I sat back and I and I looked at. Uh, um, you know, people perishing simply because they didn't have access mm. to decent health care in South Africa. So Emergivac evolved into uh, a full-blown um, product where we evacuate you by a private ambulance to a private hospital. But in addition to that, we put up the hospital admission guarantee or the deposit to make sure that you receive the best possible care in the, best, in the, in the fastest time possible. Mm-hmm. Uh, in addition to that, we, we built into our Emergivac product other forms of emergency assistance services. So there's the 24-hour armed response service um, that covers you at home or anywhere in the country while you're traveling. We've got roadside assistance for you know, mechanical breakdowns, home assistance services, as well as appliance assistance. Mm-hmm. So you know, the, uh, if any of your major appliances break down, we'll send out a technician to, mm. to sort it out. So, so we put all of these services into a single mobile application and literally at the touch of a button, Allah. you can access any of these mm. services. And Alhamdulillah, we, we launched about 18 months ago and um, when we launched the product, the intention was always to make the product fully Sharia compliant. And um, over the last year, we've worked with uh, our Sharia advisory partners at uh, I Consult Africa, and uh, last night was the culmination of that uh, journey. And Alhamdulillah, we launched the Emergivac uh, Sharia uh, Family Takaful uh, and Wellness product, uh, and uh, it was very well received. And Inshallah, you know, some of our viewers got uh, got to, to watch that live on Hilal TV last night, um, and and we're looking forward to to emerge back Sharia, uh, you know, becoming part of every household mm-hmm. uh, in South Africa. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for starting this initiative. I, I, I think yesterday the uh, pe- pe- our viewers also yani, heard mm-hmm. and watched uh, through Hilal TV uh, the, the launch of uh, Emerge mm-hmm. Vac. And uh, as, uh, as uh, Brother uh, Suleiman mentioned, that it is takaful, based on takaful. The term takaful, if we just explain it, yani, it, is, it means sol- solidarity. Muslim. 
supporting one another yeah? I mean, instead of uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes people will go, go to uh, interest uh, in order to, uh, to get uh, supported etc no this is based on the careful and the ulama can explain this uh, more we, we actually were supposed to have a brother uh, Ziyad Isaacs and uh, also uh, yesterday I heard uh, Dr. Ziyad Muhammad as well and m many of the ulama who are focused in this field specifically explain the, the shari'i part of it subhanallah it is so important ikhwad, to have such an initiative here uh, in South Africa brother uh, Suleiman is, is, is this the first in, in South Africa I believe it's the very first uh, it's like Muslim uh, mm. product in South Africa Mashallah. It's, uh, it's a product that's unique uh, even in the non-sharia compliant uh, uh, market uh, so it's uh, it's, a, it's a product uh, that uh, inshallah will is designed to to create access to private health care mm -hmm. for the masses and mm -hmm. for the emerging market Subhanallah. you know we, we have a unique situation in South Africa where over 85 percent of the population don't have access to private yes, health care yes. and uh, inshallah this product will fill that gap mm -hmm. Mm. And and uh, yesterday I'm not sure if I heard it correctly, but you are starting first at a certain age, and then you will start to uh, move mm. on to the rest of the ages. Or yeah, so um, the the product is is uh, unique in that we don't uh, have any waiting periods. There are mm. no medical uh, exam mm. uh, examinations that you need to to go through. Uh, we don't uh, exclude any pre-existing conditions. But the one thing we do have is an age criteria of a maximum of 59 years mm. um, to enter into the product. But inshallah, we'll review that over time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so basically, yeah. this is just the beginning. It's just the, it's beginning. Just the beginning. And uh, as, as the, the membership base grows and uh, as the product uh, grows, uh, we will look at uh, you know, the age criteria. Inshallah, we're we, we waiting for that because I'm 42, so now I'm, no, <laughs> I'm you, thinking you, to No, you've got plenty of time. <laughs> Inshallah. Jazakallah <laughs> khairan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and bless Amen. you and increase you in khair. And I'm sure uh, South Africa needed, needed this project. And uh, Inshallah, it will be a mean of help to those people who need this okay. service. And uh, shukran jazeelan for joining us uh, this morning and give, uh, mm -hmm. giving us such enlightenment. And inshallah, we will have Dr. Ziad with us, inshallah, in inshallah. some other uh, interviews where we can mm -hmm. explain the shari'i part of it. Uh, any final uh, words or final messages from your side, uh, Dr. Sheikh? Uh, inshallah, you know, Emerging Back, um, as you saw last night, is going to evolve into more than just an emergency services app. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking at... Uh, uh, introducing digital medicine uh, onto that platform as well. So, you know, you'll be able to do doctor consultations through your mobile application mm -hmm. without leaving, having to leave the home. Mm -hmm. So, uh, people can download this uh, on Android on any. If, uh, it's, it's available on all the app stores. Emergivac. But, but mm -hmm. you can go to our website as well, uh, emergivac.co.za. Inshallah. Subhanallah. Jazakallah khairan for joining us this morning. No, shukran, shukran for, for this uh, enlightenment and this uh, short interview. Barakallah fiqh. Jazakallah yeah. khairan jazak. Jazak. Allah bless you. Ya Rabbil Alameen. MashaAllah. Beautiful uh, initiative, as I said, and uh, as I started our program saying that South African people, MashaAllah, uh, are pioneers in that. South African Muslims, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them for that. And may we uh, t t t start more initiatives like that. And I, I heard the ambassadors, uh, ambassador yesterday, uh, Rasul, he was talking about that and how the Ummah introduced so many inventions to the world. And inshallah, this will be one of them, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, reward all those behind the scenes and all the teams of ulama and the teams of people behind this, uh, this service. May Allah azza wa jal take it from strength to strength. Allahumma ameen, ya rabbil alameen. Our time lapsed, uh, it's two minutes to eight. Jazakumullah khairan uh, for watching. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ulaik. Wal asri inna l-insana lafi khusr, illa alladhina amanu wa amalu salihat wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bil sabr. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.